Dispenser going up. Well, I guess that'll do. Hello. So, before we get into the meat of this video, I just wanted to do a bit of an introduction to the concept of this series and why I decided to do it. Uh, basically, this is how an engineer thinks with a more punny name. And if you don't understand that reference, then I'll just explain it. Um, this is what the pro gamers would call a demo review. <laughs> I'm going to be looking at some of the pre-recorded footage from a TF2 match that I've already played and basically just walking you through what my thoughts are in these moments, why I decided to do something, why I decided not to do something, uh, mistakes that I made, things that I should have done, basically just little nuanced tidbits that I typically wouldn't take the time to talk about in a more organized, elaborate video. Uh, which is a perfect segue into the other thing that I wanted to mention, which is why I'm even doing this series in the first place. Well, uh, besides this format just being a good opportunity for me to pass on some experience gained tips and tricks on to you guys, it's also just an easy way to get some damn content onto this channel, am I right? <laughs> no, but I mean, seriously, I feel like for the last couple of years in particular, I, I, I've both intentionally and unintentionally pigeonholed myself into this specific video formula where I go all out on a project every month or so, often, you know, leaving dozens of weeks in between uploads. And while I've been pretty confident that an unstructured upload schedule is completely fine for both myself and my audience, it still gives me an easily avoidable amount of stress. To explain what I mean, I, I'll often find myself spending weeks and weeks being indecisive on what project to work on next. And believe me, it's not from a lack of ideas. I have a pretty chunky list of video ideas that I pull from. It's mainly that I tend to get overwhelmed easily by the prospect of what project is on the table, which usually leads to disassociation, procrastination, and then, you know, the problem just spirals out of control from there. And you know, well, here we are. So I'm going to try and make more content and focus on projects that aren't exactly large in scope, but just as dense in information or satisfying entertainment. And that's, and this doesn't mean that I'm not going to make any more of the like nerd essay book reports on weapons or whatever, because I'm still going to be doing that. Sure. Because I, I really love TF2 and I love making videos, but I also love overthinking shit. And while that trait has definitely aided me in becoming a huge nerd when it comes to this game, it hinders my ability to stay productive for sure. So hopefully giving myself more simplistic yet informative or entertaining projects like this one will make it easier for me to get more stuff done and therefore make this channel more active in the future. All right, so uh, the first clip we're gonna go over is on Borneo. And I just finished doing the uh, the Jag Effect rollout, which I didn't need to show that part. You guys have probably seen it a million times by now. If you want to see more of the Jag Effect rollout, you can definitely go check out the other video that I made where I did the Jag Effect rollout on pretty much every map where it's possible, <laughs> or at least useful. Um, anyway, I I was going to put it up in that um, the typical spot where you put it on this map, at least far back, in that little cubby. Um, but I decided to move it a little bit forward, play a little bit more aggressive, you know? And um, I'm listening to like my team's voice calls right now because I, I'm not really communicating with any of them, but uh, they're still using voice lines to communicate, you know, help, and that medic just dies. Um, but unfortunately, a spy, I mean, fortunately, he didn't stab me, but uh, he missed a stab on me somehow, but he gets a sap on my sentry gun. While I'm able to blow him up with the Wrangler, he just, he uh, allows the heavy to actually kill it. So I move it back to its original spot, and luckily the Jag, which is why I like using the Jag, is able to get me this sentry back up to level 3 in pretty much no time. Nobody even attacks it while it goes up, so it's like it didn't even go down in the first place. But, um, yeah, there's a little crit sticky there. It, see, I tried to blow the stickies away with the, uh, the rockets, but when it came to the crit sticky, I tried to shoot it. I mean, he dead it before I could do it, but I tried to shoot it with the gun because I didn't want to blow that crit sticky towards anybody. <laughs> I've done that a couple times where I blow my I, I blow my stickies all over somebody else. Um, don't take that quote out of context, by the way. Um, so anyway, I'm just kind of playing really close to my sentry gun here, um, being really paranoid about spies as well. I'm doing the uh, pretend to stay busy thing right now because I know that there's a spy on their team, 
he almost stabbed me in the, in the, in the beginning. Um, so I'm trying to kind of play dumb a little bit. Luckily, my teammates are doing the thing that they're supposed to do and playing in front of my sentry gun. If they're playing behind my sentry gun here, then... <laughs> sorry, I was laughing at that demo, man. Um, if they were playing behind my sentry gun right here, they definitely wouldn't be nearly as effective as they're being. So luckily, they're doing the right thing. My sentry gun should always be a fallback position for my team. And I think, I mean, this clip was taken quite a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure I just moved it because I assumed that m the biggest threat that I was going to have to deal with was sticky spam. And I felt like that was harder. It might have been harder for sticky spam to uh, hit my sentry gun if I put it there, but I don't know. I, I think it's it, it doesn't really matter that much. So right here, I'm going to pause it. You can see a spy. <laughs> That's obviously a spy. Um, so I, I'm thinking ahead here. I... I have I have vision into the future here. I can see what's about to happen. He's going to set my sentry gun, and he's got two teammates behind him that is going to definitely just mess my sentry gun up if he gets a sapper on it. So I decide to a little bit, I mean, not necessarily take the L, but basically, like, get the hell out of there as best I can. Now, you might be wondering, why did you waste 100 metal to pick up your sentry gun from literally, like, three feet away? Seems like a waste of metal. Well, I had very, very limited time in this moment to move that sentry gun. If I would have taken even one second to move forward and grab the sentry gun, then not only would I be dead, I'd be mega dead. I'd have the the mini crit thing above my head that the rescue ranger gives you, and, and they'd be able to kill me very easily. So I think that it was worth the 100 metal sacrifice to uh, grab the gun from such a short distance, because it gave me just that small distance to successfully get away from uh, the incoming players. Anyway, I'm falling back to my second uh, little position here. I'm getting uber pushed. Luckily, the uber is over, but I was able to save it with the uh, the rescue ranger there. And uh, that soldier was pretty clever. He was able to stand kind of out of my sentry gun's firing range, but uh, I got the Wrangler, baby. Nothing's out of my sentry gun's firing range. Uh, so. As soon as I know that that whole push is over, as soon as I can, I'm moving the sentry gun back to its original position. So, really good on my teammates pushing them out after that push happened, because uh, uh, we were able to get set up pretty quickly here. Again, just kind of waiting around, well, mostly just kind of waiting for that spy, because he's attacked me twice now. Thankfully, unsuccessfully, and I'm uh, um, a little bit of a shout out to this heavy though. He's really just kind of holding down that firing button, um, making it pretty difficult for spies to get behind. I'm assuming so. I get pretty restless when I play engineer, and I always like to. Oh, there's that spy. There he is. Luckily, I had my teammates were backing me up. Did a little bit of the spy technique with the or the, the jag there. Hit it twice. Made sure the spy was dead before on sapping, just so he wouldn't get a second sapper on me. And they uh, have a little bit of a bad uber here, really out of position. I'm assuming they got forced. But luckily, we were able to take down the heavy and kill him as well. This this uh, cart is in a pretty nice position because my sentry can see it. And as you can see, my teammates are just crowding around it. They're ready to own. They're ready to get them dead as soon as they do the little pub push mechanic that always seems to <laughs> seems to go down in pubs. Uh, last second uh, dives of the cart, giving me some nice sentry kills as well. It looks like it was just a medic who decided to dive at it, but rest in peace that guy. And uh, looks like it's round over and a victory for us. Pretty solid victory. They didn't even get the first dang point. And a bit of a victory beer for myself. Alright, so the second clip we're going to look at is on Barn Blitz. Now, I'm built pretty far back here. Um... I'm doing that because we already have an engineer. We have two engineers, actually. And uh, this nice demo man is delivering me some metal. Very kind of him. Um, but yeah, I'm built I'm built far back here because uh, the other engineers on my team already have their guns built pretty far forward. I believe this engineer actually built... Or yeah, he moves his gun to a pretty aggressive position. So I decide to just kind of sit here with the rescue ranger and, um, and help best I can from a distance. You can heal other NG's buildings with the Rescue Ranger, so you can never forget that. And then uh, here comes this demo man again, which is why 
And again, I'm built pretty far back so that um, stuff like that still doesn't uh, go unnoticed. Because I'm sure that demo man would have been able to get behind if there wasn't a backup sentry. Because the, the two are there. Now, I noticed... <laughs> I didn't, when I was playing this, I didn't notice that spy decloaking. At the very beginning of that clip, you probably noticed the spy decloaking. Um, but it was just suspicious in general, seeing a demo man walking towards my sentry gun. So I, I immediately kind of suspected that, the, that there was a spy. Now, pretty much everything seems to go wrong here, all at the same time. <laughs> um, I, right whenever I picked that up, a spy stabbed a soldier behind me, and I thought I was dead, but I think he ran off now. I probably would have taken that that dispenser with me if I would have known that my entire team was dead here, but I didn't press tab until way too late, and uh, I lose pretty much everything. But luckily we have the jag again, so we're going to be able to build everything pretty quickly. But the problem here is that there's two NGs, so we're both kind of going to be... Like, f not fighting over this pack back here, but... Because he tried to go for it as well. So it's kind of difficult. Now, I weighed off on upgrading because I, I saw that my sentry gun was um, possibly going to be firing at something, so... Now, right here, I really want to build a dispenser. I really... <laughs> like, I really... It, I, I, but I can't justify it. Because we're kind of in the middle of a war zone here. But luckily a spot comes and, get, and brings me some metal, so now I, I feel like I, I, I'm able to build one. Because I, I always want to have just a little bit of reserve metal so that I can repair. And we're short on metal back here, so... But this other NG dies, so... Uh, and this is kind of the the star sentry here, so I want to make sure that that's, that's going to stay up as long as possible with his, uh, its owner gone. Unfortunately, gets spammed down pretty quickly, uh, but kept it up as long as possible. Now this guy jumps in, and I go for a rescue ranger on here because I I know he's low and he kills me, but he got arrowed pretty nicely there. So good job to that medic. Now I come back. This is later. I've already built a a teleporter, but I build a little bit far back on uh, at first because. I don't want it to get spammed out while it's being built. When you're building a sentry, it, it has lower health when you're building it for the first time. Um, for a little bit of time, like when it's when it's first getting built. So if you can build it out of fire first and then move it up, it's usually a little bit safer if it's in a, in a highly contested area. This is a nice little sandwich by this heavy, and I am abusing the Wrangler right now. I'm abusing it. Uh, I, I basically have never put it away <laughs> while I've been building it up. I, or at least never have made uh, the shield go down, because it is under heavy fire right now. Now, I prioritize the demo man right here because the heavy, while he's doing damage to my sentry gun, he's not as big of a threat, for sure. Now this spy kind of comes in at the at the perfect time. Gets kind of like an accidental coordinated sap on me and we go down. And now we're kind of pushed back to last. We're kind of getting spawn camped here. So I switch to the short circuit because, I mean, this is kind of a desperation move. We're going to get it on right now. But obviously the jag wasn't doing too much there. So I tried to do as much as I could, but honestly, we uh, we lost fair and square. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys that clip as a contrast to the first one, because you're not going to win every game, but you can try. You can try as best you can, <laughs> which is what I felt like uh, we did. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is it for this uh, installment of NG Brain. Hope you guys uh, learned something. Hope you guys at least enjoyed watching the footage that I was uh, able to um, provide. And um, if you like this, let me know, because this is, I mean, this is pretty different from the other types of videos that I've made um, recently, so just want to make sure that this isn't uh, something you guys don't really care about too much. <laughs> and I'll try something else, but thanks for watching. Peace. Bye-bye.